In the previous video we discussed the structure and function of collagen and in today's video we're going to discuss its biosynthesis and how it's broken down. So it does seem like it's a very complicated procedure uh, when looking at its biosynthesis but once you look at the individual steps it does become, well it is a lot easier to understand so we're going to go through it now. So the genes for the, the polypeptide chains of collagen, remember it's made of three alpha polypeptide chains. So the genes for each of these individual chains are transcribed onto mRNA. And then the mRNA is translated onto the rough endoplasmic reticulum into something which is known as pre-pro-collagen. Okay. And in the rough endoplasmic reticulum, there's a certain signal sequence, which some of you might be familiar with if you know the process of transcription and translation. But anyway, we'll discuss that in a separate video. But the signal sequence is then removed from the end terminal of the chain. And then this pre-pro collagen we were discussing before is now known as pro-peptide. And then what happens is you have certain proline and lysine residues which are on this pro-peptide. And they're hydroxylated using enzymes prolyl hydroxylase and lysyl hydroxylase. And this step requires vitamin C as the cofactor. And then following on from this, certain glucose and galactose um, molecules are added onto the hydroxy group of lysine, but not onto proline. And the process is called glycosylation. So remember, glucose and galactose are added onto hydro um, the lysine, the hydroxy group of lysine. Okay. And it, it's not added onto proline, so it's just added onto lysine. Then, um, the hydroxylated and the glycosylated propeptides, remember some of, the, some of them have been hydroxylated, some of them have been glycosylated, so these propeptides are going to twist around each other to form the triple helix. And when it forms this triple helix, it's known as procollagen. Okay, and these twists occur at the center of the molecule and the chains at the end are loose and they're not twisted around each other but in the center it's very compact into a triple helix and then what happens is the pro collagen is packed into a vesicle and it's sent off to the Golgi body and it's going to get processed further there in the Golgi body oligosaccharides are added onto pro collagen not not monosaccharides like we uh, sorry not disaccharides which we discussed sorry not monosaccharides which we discussed before they're oligosaccharides, so they're more branched, and they're added onto procollagen, and then the procollagen is packed into a vesicle, and it's destined for the extracellular matrix, so it's sent outside of the cell, and then outside of the cell, the collagen, there's certain enzymes known as collagen peptidases, and if you remember the loose ends that we were talking about, how it's just twisted and it's compact in the center, those loose ends are then cleaved off by the collagen peptidase enzymes and this forms something known as tropocollagen. And then when tropocollagen assembles itself into long fibers, it's known as self-assembly and then it cross-links with other tropocollagens and this eventually forms the mature collagen molecule. Now, we also can look at the degradation of collagen as well. So as some of you might already know from the previous video, collagen is a type of connective tissue and connective tissue needs to be dynamic because it's constantly being broken down and remodeled. The collagen itself is fairly stable and it does have um, a half-life for several years, but then as I said, it needs to be broken down and remodeled constantly. So the collagen is broken down by proteolytic action of collagenases, which is um, enzymes from a family of metalloproteinases and then from here uh, the collagen has specific parts on the molecule where it can be broken down and when collagen is broken down it's broken down into different size fragments so an example is type 1 is broken into 3 quarter and 1 quarter length fragments and then from here the fragments are broken down further by matrix proteinases into their uh, constituent amino acids or whatever the the polypeptide chain is made out from 
Okay, that's everything on collagen degradation. I hope this video has been useful. Make sure you comment and subscribe and thanks for watching.